we have a 2016 Prius and the exhaust gas heat exchanger has failed. You might not have heard of that part, it's uncommon. It makes this car get heat, which seems to be easy, but it's a delicate balance between efficiency and having enough heat to, to heat the cabin and the passengers. And this car being incredibly efficient doesn't have enough waste heat at times. So there's a special contraption built onto the exhaust and it has a really interesting failure mode. It just pumps coolant steam out of the back, making you think the head gasket is blown. And since this is the bad luck Prius, it got a head gasket. It got a head gasket it didn't even need. It's just part of the bad luck story of this car. Let's pull this piece out and I'll show you what it looks like. Good. So right away, what's really different here is we have coolant lines going to this piece of exhaust. And that's where it gets the extra heat from to make the heater work better. And we'll see this piece better when we pull it out. There we go. There goes the whole coolant system emptied out. The radiator, the engine. It's probably the lowest spot right now, actually. Yeah. glued on there right there we go. are we gonna have to add glue when we pay it back or no it's just glue by the heat no? yeah the heat cold cycles there we go that that kind of broke it free <laughs> There we go. We'll get splashed with this. Oh, yeah. One down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the exhaust gas heat exchanger. The exhaust gas goes through this, interacts with the coolant that's going through here, warms the coolant up, and this is when you're first starting the car in the morning and you want to get heat right away. Um, and it can turn on and off. That's what this valve is here, and it's a thermostatic valve. And what it does is, um, once it's warmed up, it opens, which just allows the coolant to pass straight through this lower portion. It's quite a complicated uh, little device here. And this one certainly caused the owner of this car some trouble. So we're gonna install a new one. <laughs> These hook things. I'm holding it. This one is not all the way. Okay. Down. Yeah. Now why is it? Then you will move on. It's gotta go. Go. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, push this on so it doesn't drip on us anymore. It's already dripped all over us. But <laughs> tired. <laughs> After all that. I think it's strawberry flavor. <laughs> okay. So let me get the flashlight on this. I think you have to kind of hold some forward pressure. Yeah. And I can get the because yeah, yeah, like, the bolt has this. This one I'm, I'm like ready for it. Oh, nice! Putting oil on these spring bolts was a good idea. Oh yeah! Damn! All right, wanna give me one of these guys? Spin the light around to the front ones and we can zap those and then we're in easy street. This was my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I press it. You're in. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, it's 
getting a good torque on there anyways. I'm gonna put that blood wide away. Okay. You wanna get that one? Yeah, we can get that way. That tab's gotta turn a little. Okay. Three. Little plate. Oh, is that what the cute little song we have here? <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, home security system. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a plate here? So there's three of them. Let's see where. There's one here. There's one. There's one right here, actually. There's two in the right order. Okay. Oh. You have a helmet and your old school. I'm like a full ball or whatever that is. That's it. Alright. Let's stick suckers. Mm -hmm. oh, there's right. some bolts too. Mm -hmm. uh, they're like next to the jack. I just don't know which one is the best thing to do that. Oh one. yeah, yeah. It's hard to tell. Which one is the screws? What do they look Maybe like the, again? the um, okay, flashlight. No, I, see. I see. Let me see the flashlight. It's by your head. Oh, yeah. It's not letting anybody here. Is that one up there? Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's a plastic. It's hard to get them back in sometimes. They get kind of spread. Do you have to push it back together? Is there a way to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, wait, wait. There's no way. I know to do it. Because you have to take this up like this. Yeah, exactly. And then. And then. Oh, yeah, that's it. Easy. Easy, yeah. Easy peasy. I thought it would be more complicated, but now I understand the trick. Okay, now we just zap a couple tens in. I still have one, one more, so. That's all right. Oh, I think that's this one. All right. Well, okay, two more. And you got. And let's see. I think we got to pull this off to get to the radiator cap. Okay. Here we go. Huh? Okay. Well, that wasn't what we were... Oh, okay. It's just right here. Oh. It's going to be challenging to not spill this shit everywhere. Challenge. Challenge oh, accepted. my God. Here, I'll pour from over here. Do you want the bigger one? No. Okay, so we filled up the reservoir, but we want to run the engine. Nothing is leaking so far. Okay, good. It's going to take a while to suck down more coolant. Do we have to put the, the heater on? Or? Yeah, putting the heater on wouldn't be a bad idea. It's circulating nicely though now. So we just drove around the block and uh, that allowed it to sort of gurgle down the last bit of coolant. Yeah, pull that cap off, thank you. Takes the last bit that we took out. There's some shit in there, you owe me a, a drainer. No, there's something yet. Oh, up oh, too late. Okay, know it. The last little bit, and this guy is done. So that was another Prius repair. Yeah.